Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. I just posted a video where we plasma cut this steel bracket and then used muriatic acid to remove the hot rolled scale. I thought what I'd do now is just show off my new uh, gr belt grinder. Um, I had always wanted a two by 72 and those are the bee's knees. Um, there's many out there, including the one by KMG that a lot of the knife makers seem to use um, and many others I'm probably not aware of. Um, those are by all means better than this, but the difference is those are, you know, depending on whether you kit it out and find your own motor or buy one turnkey, you know, 700 to 1500 bucks. And this was, was 200 bucks. I bought it from the folks at uh, Trick Tools and uh, the particular um, part itself is a company called Multitool, which I think is Australian. But Trick Tool seems to be uh, a reseller of them, and they actually seem to be a great company. I, I hadn't heard of them before, but uh, definitely will be buying from them again. I like their catalog, and their customer service was great. Um, I ended up picking up a new grinder as well um, from them uh, altogether, but you can just buy this separately. So um, it's been a huge step up for me. Previously, I was using the 1 by 30 inch Cheapo import grinder and uh, nothing in close. The horsepower, the ability to remove material if you really want to rough stuff out, um, and then polishing as well. Been real happy with this. Um, the platen is not, again, perfect. It's not as nice as, as a 2x72, and I found you can't really use the wheel because the, um, as I was, I'll show you here, the helical grooves here are a little too rough um, to, uh, to use by holding the part against it. But nevertheless, um, it's pretty cool. So I thought what we do is just take that bracket and show just how quickly we can get it polished up. Um, and we'll do a um, we'll do a Scotch Bright polish on one side, and then we'll go ahead and try and take it to more of a mirror finish on the other. Won't be perfect, but um, it'll be pretty good for for how quickly we can get it done. One of the things I love about this is it's so quick to change belts, and that really is important when you're trying to work through a part with different grinding processes. You push this in, clicks and you just feed your belt over the back half, slip it over the front wheel, and snap it back. This is a 100 grit aluminum oxide belt. Um, usually I'll use that, or maybe an 80. Depends on um, how rough the part is to start with. This is the part that we've we just uh, cleaned up the scale on, so 100 will be fine. Um, I also don't, normally do not grind on my workbench. I grind in, a, in, a, in the garage where I have all my um, messy stuff, but um, moved over here just for making the purpose, just for making the video. Um, but this is going to throw off a lot of nasty grime, so um, don't grind next to nice equipment or um, other stuff normally. So uh, also, you know, normal cautions. You know, this is a incredibly fast moving. I don't know how many thousands of feet per minute belt so be careful with um, hands and remember it's uh, you know you're sticking out here 12 inches versus a regular bench grinder so you got to be careful but um, you you've seen the service part we're starting with service finish of the part we're starting with flip it on Just once really quick over it and you can see, not bad at all. Let's do that a couple more times. Looking good. In fact, you can see the little bit of the reflection already. We'll let this belt slow down. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do the other side is 100 grit too, just to uh, get both sides roughed in here. Okay, we've got both sides roughed in with the 100 belt. Let's go ahead and put on a Scotch Bright belt. The thing I, one of the things I love about these, this machine is the belts are not too expensive. The 80 and 100 grit type belts are four to two to five dollars depending on whether you buy standard or premium. The Scotch Bright belts are a little more expensive. I think they're about $25, uh, but they should also last a while. So let's go ahead and fire this up on Scotch Bright, and I'm gonna go ahead and change the camera angle so you can see uh, what I'm doing a little better. Okay, here we go.
One thing I'd love to figure out how to do on this machine is uh, add some type of a brake to slow it down more quickly at the end because you're always anxious to switch belts or move on and I like to have it stop quickly. Anyways, um, that's a typical Scotch-Brite finish. I'm sure most of you guys know uh, are familiar with Scotch-Brite. I love <laughs> Scotch-Brite. I love the hand pads, the grinding wheels and the belts like this. Um, I love brushed metal look. You can see, um, you know, the camera always makes it look a little more grainy than it really is in life, but it's a very nice finish. Uh, and the nice thing about the Scotch-Brite belts is they're not as finicky as you're about to see when we try to use uh, thinner sanding belts to get a mirrored finish, where if you have any sort of imperfections or wobble, they stand out. The Scotch-Brite is forgiving and that's awesome. So um, that's my sort of one-two punch on parts is you have them in the acid, which gets the scale off, and then a real quick 80 or 100 grit belt, and then a Scotch-Brite belt, and you've got a real nice uh, looking part there. Um, let's go ahead and try and see if we can uh, use some progressive uh, belts here to get a mirror finish. My guess is that you're going to see it's a little bit tricky to do because this isn't a, a Rolls Royce of machines, with, uh, especially with this platen. In fact, you can see right here is where there's the weldment rise. And I actually am thinking about uh, taking this thing apart and, and fixing that, or I can actually even replace this whole platen, uh, which might be a nice little project. But um, let's throw on a 180 belt. Let's see here. Now what I'm gonna do, I think, is hold the part carefully like so. And when I do this, I actually have my body away from the line of this thing. So if it throws the part away, it's not going to hit me. And you'll see, in fact, I've already goofed a little. That's my own fault. And I've got a little bit of a edge. Um, you know, I had the angle part rolled a little bit. And that's again, goes back to the difference between a two by 72 machine where you've got a real nice platen and this, which is a little bit makeshift. Uh, but let's see what we get here. Let's go to 180. Okay, so as I mentioned, you can see some how it's it's not perfect just yet, um, and again this goes back to uh, how even you're holding the part, and you can see I've got a little center line down here. But let's keep going and see uh, see what happens. Um, and I, as I swatch be swap belts here, uh, I realize I want to show you uh, the Trick Tools website and what I bought. So let's take a look at that. Okay, here is their website, and this is the. 2x36 belt grinder attachment that I purchased, uh, again, uh, $199, um, although actually I'm lying to be totally honest, I bought the kit, like I said, because I wanted the grinder as well, um, and I got it at that sale price of $420, so $220 for a Jet 1 horsepower uh, grinder was, t was totally worth it for me. Um, I think it does mention in here, yeah, you have 5,400 service feet per minute, so that belt is cooking. And they've got a number of 2x36 belts. Um, they have premium and standard and the standard grits and then the Trizact, which we're about to take a look at, and Scotch-Brite, with the Scotch-Brites being you know, a little bit more expensive. And I bought a couple starter kits. I bought this abrasive belt starter kit and the polishing kit. Hold on, where is that? And their 2x36 polishing kit like so. So very happy with it. You know, you don't need, you don't necessarily need to purchase the, pol the uh, belt kits if you know exactly what you want. Um, again, what I like is the attachment style here and the price point relative to, uh, you know, something like a 2x72 grinder. And uh, also just really wanted to commend the folks at Trick Tools. I had a question about my order and uh, they were great, very responsive. They seem like a pretty, pretty wholesome company, which, which is always re refreshing. Okay, onward with these 3M uh, Trizact belts. First one we'll do is the 400, and uh, these um, these belts are labeled with the with the 180 on the inside. The Trizacts are not, um, but if you just took, took a quick look up. The uh, 400 grit one 
is, I've got it written on here, but it's the A, well, where does it say? Oh, it's hard to read. It's the A45, there you go, A45. Boom, boom. Okay. Let's see what we get. Okay. Again, the uh, various glares make it a little hard. Let's keep going here and I'll show you uh, after we progress through with a different camera angle, maybe even a little better. The next one is 700, which is, yes, which is the uh, A30. I'll be curious to see what uh, the knife makers and other folks who may have a lot more experience with these say about tips or tricks or opinions. I don't know a lot about them. Um, and this isn't, you know, this stuff isn't my specialty, but it is nice to be able to do um, when you need to. More of the same, definitely looks um, better. You can also see, as I mentioned, there are gonna be some imperfections in the way this um, polishes up. We'll see, maybe we'll get them out at the end when we switch to a, a, a polishing belt instead of a sanding belt like these. Last one is 1200, which is the A16. Okay, that did pull a lot of the mirror out. In fact, as you can see, let's see if you can see, uh, I'm sort of pointing this at myself. Not, not really a great, well, yeah, you can get an idea for it there. Um, okay, so let's do a final step, which is to take their polishing belt here. And use some uh, white rouge and see what that does. Not bad. In fact, if we, uh, there you go. You can see my hand in the mirror reflection right there. So is this perfect? No, definitely not, but it's not bad. Um, you know, my preferred solution with this setup is the 
80, 100 grit, and then Scotch Brite for the brushed finish. But uh, you can get to a mirrored finish like this, especially if you're careful. Um, and like I said, maybe improving the platen will, will improve it. But just want to give you a quick overview. Again, it's a $200 add-on with some relatively inexpensive belts. I think it's an awesome tool. If you've enjoyed this video, please uh, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up and comment below. Otherwise, that's all folks. Uh, I've been working a lot on that automated saw, which I was really excited that you guys were excited about. So I'm thinking the next few videos might uh, delve into that. Anyways, um, take care folks. Have a good weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.